This is Amy Chan from CakeDecoratingSchool.com, and if you like cake decorating, you're in the right place. Welcome to our flower series. In this video, we're going to be piping a butterfly ranunculus flower. The video is broken down into steps, so you can skip ahead, rewind, or rewatch as desired. We're going to make the colors for our butterfly ranunculus, and we're going to use four liquid gel colors today with our American style buttercream. Some lemon yellow, Red Red, Royal Blue, and finally a little bit of Buckeye Brown. And I have some of each squeezed out on my lid over here. And we're going to make these in a nice kind of like lovely light pink shade that we're going to use our Red Red to accomplish, but they come in a variety of colors. So don't be afraid to mix it up and make them in any color you want. We're making kind of a pastel color, but they also come in vivid bright colors as well. So I just have a tiny bit of my Red Red on my toothpick and I'm just going to give myself a few specks and this will give me a slightly different tone to my pink than if I were to use my neon bright pink, which I typically do. And I'm also going to give it just a tiny little speck of brown. I want it to have kind of like an antique vibe or like a dusty vibe to it. And adding just a touch of brown is a great way to do that. I'm just going to mix it around a little bit. And check it out. So it's looking nice. I just want to bump it up a tiny bit. And so it's a little tiny bit darker. There we go. It's a nice, lovely shade of pink. It's got some color to it, but it's not too light. Our next color is going to be kind of a golden yellow. So I'm going to start with some of my lemon. Just some nice big specks there. And then a little bit of that brown. And that should give us that kind of golden harvest color and we're going to use this for our centers and you'll notice today i'm putting just a touch of brown in all my colors doing things like that just putting a little speck of a shared color and all the hues you make can really help to pull everything together and you can see that's a lovely kind of golden yellow color that we're gonna use for our centers. And our final color is gonna be some green. We're gonna make some little stamens as well. So I just wanna do a little bit of that royal blue, a few specks of yellow. I'm going more yellow than blue, and then just a tiny bit of brown. We'll get this mixed around and then we'll adjust it if we need to. So I'm a little heavy on my brown, so I'm just going to add a little more yellow and blue to pull it back towards that green and get a nice little shade. We want something that's going to kind of pop against that golden yellow that we made that has that kind of brownish feel to it. So we want just a little hint of that brown in this, but we really want the color to feel green. There we go. You can see just how adding a little bit more of those colors really changed that to a nice little green shade that's going to look great against the brown and pink that we already made. For this flower, we're going to use three 12-inch disposable decorating bags, all fitted 
directly with the tips, one for each of our colors. We have our pink fitted with a 124K. This is one of those nice skinny Korean petal tips. Our green is fitted with a number one tip, so a nice small round opening. And our golden yellow is fitted with a number five. Let's talk about the techniques we're going to use to create our butterfly ranunculus. We're going to start with our 124K tip, which we're going to use to create various types of petals. The first one is one I call a soft ruffle. And we want to have it so that the fat end is towards the center of our nail, skinny end is facing out, and we're going to pull out and do a nice soft wave and then pull back. And we can do these in various sizes and kind of lengths, and you'll notice when we go larger that we'll probably have a little gap or void in the center, and that's going to be just fine. When we do the bigger ones, they're going to be on the bottom and get covered up. So we don't want to worry about that void, we just want to worry about getting a beautiful edge on the outside of those petals. The second type of petal is going to be a teardrop. We want to Orient ourselves the same way as we did for our soft ruffle, fat in towards the center, skinny end out, and we're going to pull in a nice soft kind of rounded motion. And so we're going to go up. When we get to the top, we'll rotate our nail and then we'll pull back. And that's going to give us a nice teardrop shape to those petals. And finally, we're also going to do some J-shaped petals. And these give you more kind of fan or wedge-like shaped petals, but instead of starting at the center, we want to start out, squeeze, let that little fan or fold build up, and then pull towards ourselves. And you can see they get a more narrow, tapered shape to them. And so we're going to use these three different types of petal to create this flower. We're also going to use some dots on these flowers. We're going to use our number five tip for these. You want to hold the bag straight up and down, be up off the surface so there's a little gap, not too high and not too close, and we're going to squeeze. Let that line of frosting connect and then build up a nice full dot. When you're finished, stop and just swirl around. This will shave off that top to give you a wonderful finish on that dot. And finally, we want to do some spikes. These are going to be for little hairy frilly stamens. We want to start just like we would with a dot much closer because we're using a number one tip. Squeeze till you form a dot and then pull up while you're still squeezing. When you want to finish it, just pull a little faster and that should disconnect your line of frosting. And hard to see, so we'll get close up. That'll give you a nice little spike there. So let's now go over how we're going to use those techniques to build our butterfly ranunculus blossom. We're going to start off and pipe four to five of those soft ruffle petals on the outside edge of our nail. We're going to leave a nice gap in the center. This is going to allow it a nice soft kind of curved feel as we layer up our petals and it'll also cover up any gaps in those ruffle petals that are at the base. So if you get those, don't worry about it. I'll probably leave just a little space between each of the petals. And if some of them overlap, especially a last one you're trying to squeeze in, don't worry. Overlapping is what we're going to want here. So not to worry if you squeeze in an extra one and it overlaps the first one, that's going to look fantastic. We're then going to do a second layer offset from the first one. So we're going to start just a little further in towards the center. We won't pull as wide with each one, so there'll be more space between each of those second layer of petals. And then we're then going to go in and do some of our teardrop and J shapes. So next to each of those petals from the second layer, we'll pipe a nice teardrop and a J shape. And then on top of some of those, we're going to go ahead and pipe a narrower, so think really skinny, so you won't have any gap at all ruffle petal. And what that's going to do, and I've tried to represent it with a little shading, is build up some height. So it's going to give some of those petals some lift and give this flower its open, frilly, ruffly feel. And then once we like the way that looks, we might do one of those narrow ruffled petals on top of each of those groupings we made. We might leave some of the little groupings of our teardrop and J-shape showing. Kind of depends on how it feels, how it looks, what we like, what we don't. 
I'll go back and add some little shorter pairs of those little teardrop and J-shaped petals closer to the center. So if I've still got a void, I might do more of those. If it's feeling kind of full in there, I might skip them or I might only do one or two. And then we're gonna go ahead and finish it off by adding our dot in the middle and filling around it with those nice little spiky stamens. So let's start piping and practice our butterfly ranunculus. I've got my 124K tip. You remember you want the fat end towards the center, skinny end out. We're kind of laying flat against the surface. The back of the bag is over there like maybe like 2.30. It's not quite three o'clock. We just want it at a slight angle to give our petals that nice wedge fan kind of flowery ruffle shape. And we wanna start just about kind of like halfway towards the center. And we're gonna pull, let it wave and pull back. And I'm just gonna go ahead and do those until I fill up a nice little ring. So this wonderful kind of outside area, just start the next one right there next to the one before. If you need to clean off your tip, And you can see it's probably going to take me five petals to get all the way around. And if you need to, want to, or have to, the last one can overlap the first just a little bit. And you can see that starts to build up some height for us. Now we're going to put on a second layer of petals. So we're going to start a little closer to the center, go in between two of those on our first row, and we're gonna pipe the same ruffle fan shape. And you can see, because we're doing a shorter petal, it's closed in the center. So it closes up that gap that we had that was kind of showing through. And you can see, starting to build up some height as well. So just go around until you've done one in between each of those on your first row. Now it's time to build up a little height and support. So we're gonna go in between two of the petals on our second row, come right there to the center, and I'm gonna pipe a nice little teardrop shape and a nice little J shape. And then I'm gonna go right on top of that and pipe a nice narrow ruffle. So these act as a support for those petals. And you can see that helps us build up the height. I'm gonna go right here and do that. and build it up again. And I think I've got room over here for a third set of those supported skinny ruffle petals. So I'm just gonna go in, put in that teardrop shape and the J shape, and go in and do that nice, long, narrow ruffle. Now let's go in and just add some of those cute little duos of teardrops and J shapes. Just anywhere you think needs it, just a little more interest, some shorter petals, just something to finish us up and add a little more height. We're gonna finish it up by working on our centers and you can see the actual center is filled in now as we've done our layers of petals. So we wanna go right in the middle and make a nice large dot, just like we practiced on our sheet with our golden yellow. And then we're gonna follow that up with those little nice spiky stamens with our green. So right down at the base of your dot, hold your nail however you need to, just to get in there and just kind of kiss the side of that dot and pull those little stamens. And sometimes I just do one round all the way around and sometimes I feel like it needs a little more if it needs to be filled in anywhere 
or if it just needs a little more of that pop of color because I really like the way the green sets this off and finishes the flowers. I'll do a little second row. just to make it a little more vibrant. And there we have a beautiful, ruffly butterfly ranunculus. That's all for this lesson. If you liked this video, try checking out some of our other flower series tutorials. If you have any questions, ideas, or suggestions for us, we would love to hear from you in the comments section. If you enjoyed this video and you'd like more about the cake decorating materials and equipment we use, or just some inspirational videos about cake decorating itself, you can follow us on Insta or YouTube at Cake Decorating School. If you'd like to know more about yearly membership and what it entails, you can go to www.cakedecoratingschool.com for more information. And if you're interested in these products, you can check the links in the description.